hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline channel and in this video i will show you how you can connect active directory server with your zimra email server so let's start i already have a windows server running and i created few employees user accounts here and uh, let's just see our zimra page so inside zimra administration if i go to manage as you can see here i already fetch my active directory users inside zimra email server and i will show you how i created that so let's just go to the zimra administration homepage click on configure and here you see domain so if you follow my video series uh, by default when you done with your configuration of zimra you will see mail.hqfx.com is created or maybe whatever server that you added that will be created and that is the host name of your zimra server that is the host name of your zimra server will be appear here but now we need to configure with our active directory server and we don't want every email to be start with uh, for example hqvf hq001 dot and at the rate mail dot hqfx dot com so we don't want this we want to remove this part correct so for that we will create a new domain here so what you can do is you can actually go and create new and uh, I'm, i will just create a test account here but uh, that will be something else that you can follow with your your name so for example domain name i can use here hqvfx dot local okay and uh, rest is all good no issue hit next and uh, one thing that i want to mention here this domain name must be unique so if i create new with hqfx.com it will at the end when i come here domain configuration complete it will say that the domain is already exists so make sure you have unique name here next and here you can select the gl mode everything actually uh, default so no need to select anything here uh, one thing actually you can select maybe sorry uh, internal and mail server you need to select the mail server which is our mail.hqfx.com and uh, hit next sso just leave it default authentication mechanism there is three which is one is internal another is uh, external ldap and third one is external active directory so since we have our windows active directory running so i will select external active directory once i will select this it will ask me for the domain name and my domain name is hqvfx.com and then ldap i try with this domain uh, whatever my domain domain name here but for some reason i did not get uh, it it was not connected so it's better to use the ip address of your active directory server here so 192.168.0.109 is the ip address of my ad server and that's why i'm putting this here port by default is 3268 but change it to 389 hit next and here you need to provide a username and password for uh, you can provide the administrator username and password so let's just go and we'll test this authentication succeed hit next just leave it like that and uh, just leave it like that sms reminder leave it like that done finish so here you can see that hqvfx local is created here correct now with that way i created hqvfx.com i'm going to delete this because i will not use this for future you can just follow this all right delete post delete correct so we'll just stick with the hqfx.com correct okay now the second thing is what we need to fetch all the new users here if i go to the 
back to home go to manage and here you see that we have all the users then how the users will appear here by default the users will not appear so you need to actually make some uh, provision and that is actually the auto provision mechanism inside Zimbra and to simplify that I already created a uh, already created few lines of thing uh, uh, maybe lines of configuration which will help you to add your own okay to simplify that again you can just change this with your domain name whatever domain name you have here I I just created hqfx.com right so you can just use your domain name here and uh, other thing that you need to change here is to add your password here and uh, make sure where your users are exist so in my case users are exist inside this organizational unit which is employee and to check your you can actually select any of the employee go to property select attribute editor down and uh, see the distinguished name and when you see the distinguished name you just need to uh, copy the uh, whatever after cn the first cn so you might be at very nested level where you see there are multiple organizational unit and there are multiple cn but uh, that's what matter because after your username what whatever is there you just copy and paste there so in my case ou employee hqvfx.com then another thing that you need to change is the ip address of your active directory that you can actually replace this ip with your ip and uh, here also you just no need to provide hqvfx you just need to provide the full uh, your mail server host name so in my case the host name is mail.hqvfx.com go back here here you can see that mail.hqfx.com and that's actually the same all right then after that what you have to do is you need to copy all these lines and you can find these lines from the description of this video or i will add this to my github account so from there you can take it uh, then you need to run this with a text file in uh, with this zm probe and where you can find i will show you where you can get that so first of all go to cd and the, where is the location where you install you know if you follow my video that means it will be in opt zimbra and bin correct so now just list all the files whichever inside this opt zimbra bin and here you can see zm probe is there any zm probe yes so zm probe is the file that actually we want and we want first and uh, take this all copy and uh, create new file here and how to create a new file i will show you uh, you can just maybe in the same location you create g edit and uh, auto So this will open a gedit text editor here you can simply paste change whatever settings i told you here and after that you just hit save once you hit save all you have to do clear first so you can see all right so then dot slash zm probe and then you have to use this arrow and after that the file name which is auto pro i'm not gonna enter this because there are settings which is i already apply but after this after once you hit this enter uh, then all the provision auto provision settings will be applied and after that you need to restart your zimbra server i mean uh, i was when i was working it was first time it was not working but after that once i restart my server it was working fine so once after restart you re make sure you restart your zimbra service also and to restart your zimbra service you can just use service 
Zimbra re just restart. So with that you can restart your Zimbra service. Okay. So now let's just go to the Active Directory server again. And here I showed you some of the users and let's just try and see the users with how they log in and uh, let's just go first minimize this so right now we have up to hq005 correct okay uh, sorry what I open I should open users and computer perfect let's just create a new user here new user and uh, this username will be vfx pipeline and this user id will be hq0006 okay hit next set a password okay next finish okay so the password is not matching the complexity so let's just create windows cannot set the password bfx pipeline because not matching the complexity and the history okay no issue let us go back again next okay so we already created a user here let's just try and log in with this user vfx pipeline and okay perfect so what you will see here is you are not able to log in and you will see all this thing right so to log in what you have to do is you need to provide full address which is vfx pipeline at hqvfx.com all right now let's just try with this cannot okay try now cannot okay so the thing is right now we can we cannot use vfx pipeline here as you can see that our username is inside active directory is something else if you go here double click on this go to account your username is actually hq0006 so we are actually doing wrong so let's just type hq0006 so whatever is the username of the active directory will be the username of Zimbra remember okay now let's just go and sign in perfect now we are actually signing in and here you can see the user vfx pipeline is here and uh, here it's not refresh you can just click refresh and it will show you a new entry here correct okay so one thing that we will see here and also uh, let's just try send an email so a new message and uh, maybe send to Rajiv and it should be auto complete it will look for all the name and it will auto complete for you send okay can able to send that uh, now let's just go and sign out that I will give you one extra tip here whenever you log in you log in with hq001 at hqvfx.com and then your password right 
so what about we we want to if we want to completely remove this part so user can just log in with without the full address so only username should be sufficient for example let's say if i try login now it will give me this the username and password is incorrect so to get that you can actually go back to the home go to configuration and uh, domain global settings sorry uh, server very slow it's 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 not about uh, the server it's about my system is slow okay so the thing is well sorry again we are in the wrong place so go back to the configure and uh, domain server global setting and default domain yes so in in configuration global settings default domain you need to change to hqvfx.com so just remove that mail dot whatever your domain so you can just put the domain name here and hit save and basically this is the active directory name here okay then it will be auto complete by the system so now i have hq001 and i will try to enter with my password and here you can see with just username i'm able to uh, log in inside my zimbra server correct okay so here we just learn how we can actually set it up active directory and zimbra together and it's very easy uh, if you just follow few steps then it will be easy to achieve all this kind of stuff inside uh, zimbra so yeah i mean that's it for this video and i will come up with some other cool techniques tips and tricks for you guys and if you have any issue with zimbra configuration you can just comment me below or you can just email me i will help you in that all right okay thank you guys i'll see you in my next videos